Mafia Music Network. Offering underground, pop, and esoteric cinema. Discover more at MoviemusicNetwork.com. After Cheryl loses her mother to cancer, she travels into a self-destructive lifestyle. When she realizes she has had enough, she decides to walk the thousand-mile Pacific Coast Trail alone. My mother used to say something that drove me nuts. There's a sunrise and a sunset every day, and you can choose to be there for it. The journey changes her life in the true story of Wild. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm here with Brenna and Kevin, and things are about to get a little crazy around here because we're going to talk about Wild, starring Reese Witherspoon. We've all just seen it. Kevin, take me out on this trek. So it's written by Nick Hornby, who did movies like About a Boy, based on the memoir by Cheryl Strayed. Um, I thought it was a good ad adaptation of, you know, a true story. I thought it felt really natural and realistic. Um, it didn't have that kind of melodramatic feel a lot of these movies have when they go into, you know, flashbacks where it's like, here comes the flashback and you're, you know, and 20 the minutes. And right, exactly. Dying. It was bits and pieces. And we as the audience had to actually pull stuff out and try to figure it out on our own. And I thought he respected the audience, which I really appreciated. Well, I usually hate when, when movies do the, the sort of thing where they start and they don't give you any info and they give you little bits as it goes on. To me, that feels like a cheap technique to get you into it. But here it works because as we get each little piece of information about her past, she's revisiting it mentally. Mm -hmm. She's going on this journey right. physically, but it's all about what's going on in her head. And it pulls no punches. Mm -hmm. There's a reason this movie is rated R. Yeah. And I, I love it. Mm -hmm. my, my only issue with it is... They were too in love with the source materials. They put in too much. I didn't think it needed to be the whole two hours. There was stuff we could have left out. And the other thing was I felt that there was a lack of peril. I never felt like she was going to fail, either herself going through nature or in her head. I didn't think she was going to turn around and go back to her awful life. I didn't think that she was going to fall and break her leg and get stuck and have to saw off her knees or something. Well, I, I guess I kind of liked that element about it. I liked the way this story unfolded and let you sort of realize that without giving too much away. I, when the, the first scene makes you sort of think this is going to be like 127 hours or one of those movies where it's like, oh, she's lost. She's going to have to cut something off. Something, <laughs> yes, she's going to have to amputate some, some limb of some nature. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I sort of started watching the first 20 minutes going, is this another one of those movies where somebody goes out in the wilderness really ill-prepared and then what happens to them? They, you know, I, I, I'm going to be like, they should never, they have no business going out in the forest. Why should I be <laughs> watching yeah. them do this thing? And then you sort of find out as the, as the film goes along that that's not about that. This film is about survival, but it's about a different kind of survival. Yeah. If she turns around and goes back, she's turning around and going back to her previous life. And the fact that she's moving forward, it's not really a story about man versus nature. It's more of a story about man going out and living in nature in order to find catharsis. You made it! I made it! Okay, guys, this is Cheryl and Monster. Monster? My pack? Oh, man. <laughs> One of the things that, that this film gives us is a complete character. And I, yeah. and I thought that's, that's actually kind of rare in cinema, unfortunately, these days. But we have somebody who, she's not perfect. We don't like everything about her, mm -hmm. and yet we can sort of identify with her even though she's done some awful things in her life because she's seeking redemption. And I think that comes through because of Reese Witherspoon, yeah. who yeah. kind of, I like how she just strips herself. There's like no makeup. She doesn't seem like the cute, adorable Reese Witherspoon. She, she just, doesn't seem like Reese Witherspoon. No, and she just seems like a character. And that's the only Laura Dern, I thought, <gasps> was very good in this film. I and, love and Laura Dern. She was so good. She plays the character that really is the catalyst for the entire story, yeah. and that makes her even more memorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think there was that one scene where uh, Reese Witherspoon is at the table and she's like, why are you so happy all the time? And she just kind of drops it for a second and explains it and then just kind of goes back. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's just beautiful. What part of it do you not get? There's nothing I don't get, believe me. But then what? Cheryl, if there's one thing I could teach you, it's how to find your best self. I thought the casting in the entire film was really spot on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have, in these movies where you have somebody take a journey, they sort of wind up meeting people for just fleeting moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that every single person in each role inhabited that role really well, even if they only had one or two lines. And the fact that she meets some people that she's sort of 
thinks one way about, and then mm-hmm. you find out that they're actually quite a bit different from how she initially perceived them. Yeah. I, I just thought that was a great great part of the movie. And, and there's no gimmick stunt casting. Cast <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's true. Which yeah. is usually what they do with bit parts like that. Really yeah. great character actors that mm-hmm. they found to play these roles. I guess we should talk about our director, uh, Jean-Marc Vallée. He, you can tell that he loves his material. Mm-hmm. He gets great performances out of everybody, and he just knows how to show show the wilderness. I felt like the trail that she's on was as much a character as she was, the way yeah. it evolves mm-hmm. as she goes on her journey. But it also wasn't like, look at this grand vista. No, it right? wasn't, It was yeah. just, here she is on this journey, mm-hmm. and you see what she sees. Terrific performance from Reese Witherspoon and director Jean-Marc Vallée makes this a journey that you should go on. See it. Bolstered by great performances by Witherspoon and Dern, Wild is a trip worth taking. See it. As far as personal journey films go, Wild is one of the better ones. It bears its soul for the world and feels genuine while doing it. See it. Cheers! June Carter Cash out in the wilderness. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm here with Brenna and Kevin, and things are about to be. Damn it. (laughs) That's a rapid one. Yay, thank you.